Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. In this video, we are going to look at the new Unify Network 9.3.43. Can you believe it? It's it's July 2025 and uh, how far Unify has come. I, I don't know if you all remember way back version 4 and previous and, and now we're here. So Ubiquity has done a lot of updates. And we're going to take a look at this real quick. There's some notable, some notable things. And I know there's probably going to be some people that are upset about the way a couple of these things work. But honestly, I'm not upset about it. And I think it, it makes sense. And we'll talk about that. So over here on the official release page, uh, the first thing that they talk about is this enhanced content filtering with CyberSecure. So if you're running Unify OS 4.3 or newer and you have an active cybersecure subscription, you're going to be able to now get granular with the content filtering rules. So if we come over to my, my UDM SE and we go to settings and cybersecure, you can see that I don't have uh, the same screens and it's because I don't have an active cyber secure subscription happening. And it's only $99 a year. Now I have a lot of people that I work with that are running this. And I'm going to tell you why the $99 a year, I think makes sense because even with other vendors that we work with to get the granularity that they are now providing, there is some sort of a subscription now, they can't give you all of this for free. They give us a lot already that you don't have to have a subscription for. That $99 a year gets you more signatures, gets you daily signatures, and now it gets you this granularity inside of the content filtering. And it's it's 100 plus categories. The other thing that you can do is safe search support for Google, Bing, and YouTube. Here is where Ubiquity and some other vendors are have now caught up to Synology. If you remember, I used to uh, always talk about how Synology had the best content filtering in its class. Well, for free, it still does have that. But if you have Unify, the way they've changed this, you can now do the content filtering where we can set an entire network um, an entire network policy for content filtering. And then we can go in and we can exempt devices from it. And if you'd like to see a video on that, let me know. And I'll either buy the uh, $99 subscription for my uh, UDM SE. I'll see if I've got someone that I have access to that'll let us do it on there. Or I'll see if Ubiquity will uh, turn this on for me. But you can now create those whole network filters and then do exemptions from it. So it's that, that same powerful, like we're going to capture everything and then we can build on top of it. And right here it's customizable block and allow list for personalized filtering. So you have a base network um, filtering policy. And then if you have clients that need to get around that, you can do that. So this, this is fantastic. This is absolutely fantastic. I'm very excited about this. Here they have revamped the system logs in the SIM integration. So they've put a lot of work into this to bring it to kind of industry standards. And they just, they keep pushing the envelope. This is fantastic. And you can see uh, the Unify uh, system logs here. I don't know if we've got any activity over uh, on ours over here. So you can see some of the logs here. The uh, other thing is you can change push notifications. We can now export these traffic logs. We can go into flows and you can kind of see what's happening here. But if we go to the, the push notifications, they've made this easier to get to. They are making a lot of strides. Uh, a lot of your more traditional vendors outside of, of Ubiquity, 
they're not really keeping pace with this. I mean, Ubiquity is is really pushing the envelope on this. Here's uh, new changes to Alarm Manager. Monitor your deployments with customizable alarms. <clears throat> Wide range of triggers, control the scope of the alarm by unified device or client devices. So now we can be notified in Unify by device or by client. So we can receive notification emails, or we can even use webhooks with this. And we can monitor our alerts with hit analytics. And you do have to be on Unify OS 4.3 along with this. So if we... I'm, might not be on, let's see here, 4.3 for this. I'm going to have to upgrade my my underlying uh, Unify OS for that. Now, <clears throat> let's see, what else did we add? People were asking for C names in the DNS server. So this the DNS server in Unify is now pretty much fully fleshed out. So we can create a DNS record. So now you can see we got host records. Now I, I'm got to have this. Uh, I've got to upgrade my Unify to four, uh, the actual underlying operating system on my console to 4.3. And then I will get that C name addition there. But as you can see, as we've talked about before, they've already got MX records, text records, service re records, or uh, forward domains. I mean, they are pushing this out. They, they're just adding so many things to this. Added the ability to reset port statistics now. Added client group option to the client page. So if we go to client devices, you can now see that they've added... A lot of different ways to view your clients and group them over here. We can customize the columns. They are, I just, I can't believe how far Unify has come. Um, let's see here. Improved backup, restore resiliency. Not sure what they changed there, but I will tell you that anytime we migrate from console to console, the migration has gotten easier. You log in with your Ubiquity account. If there's a backup and you're on a new console, it's going to ask you if you want to restore from another backup. Not sure how much better that, that could get. So if somebody knows what they did to improve the resiliency there, you're going to have to let me know. Improve the navigation user experience on the topology page. So if we go to topology here, we can come down here. Oh, we can create a virtual network. We can show the internet traffic. The flow has been around for a while, so that's that's not really new. We can rotate our topology. That's not really new. We can look at the virtual network and make changes down here. They are making this just a lot easier to navigate, really polishing the UI on this. Let's see. Improve the traffic flows overview. We looked at the traffic flows uh, a couple minutes ago. Improve wildcard domain entry handling and the content filtering and zone-based firewall. So if you are doing content filtering, not sure what they improved here, somebody let me know down below. Because I'm sure some of you have really dug into this. Improved DNS, improved application stability. I think I saw something about some crashes, so they probably fixed that. Increased the radius username limit to 48. So previously it wasn't, or it, uh, you couldn't put 48 characters in for the, the username. And now you can have 48 characters for the username. Enabled the kill switch by default for the new policy-based routes. Moved the flow control setting to the internet settings. Remove the band steering toggle from the AP side panel. So they moved it from the AP to the general Wi-Fi settings. So if we go to Wi-Fi, and you can see they, they updated this screen a little while ago. Um, but let's see here. If we go to like main, 
I still have band steering here, but if I go to my AP and go here, they, they've removed it from here and is now just under the main Wi-Fi settings. Looks like they've got a, a labs feature here for roaming assistant. And this encourages devices with a weak signal strength to roam to a stronger access point. So this must be some kind of secret sauce, and you may not be able to see that. There it is. This must be some kind of secret sauce they're working on that's a little bit more potent than MIN RSSI. They increase the support for policy-based route interfaces to 63. Each WAN connection consumes one interface. Show all gateway ports in the Internet settings. So let's see here. We go to Internet. And so you now you can have... Uh, all of the gateway because now remember we can have more than two two WAN ports so we can add a WAN here and we can choose all of the ports on the UDM SE that I have and so now we can have multiple multiple WAN and they they actually changed that a couple of revisions ago but then they added all of the gateway ports here a lot of bug fixes and I do have a captive portal video coming so let me know what you think about this I just can't believe how far we have come with unify uh, it just blows me away how quickly they are moving they are uh, killing bugs that they're finding they are making improvements rapidly they are polishing the UI there's a, there's only one or two other vendors I can think of that are innovating the way that Ubiquity is. It's definitely not some of your old hat vendors, especially when you look at the price to feature ratio. There's a very small group of vendors that, is, that are doing this, and Ubiquity is, is, you can use this with all of the enhancements. If you don't want to pay for the cybersecurity, you still get a lot of great stuff in there. It's just, Thumbs up to Ubiquity for this. Kudos to the team over there for pushing this and polishing this. And the last few years, I never really would have thought we've we've gotten where we're at, but they have done a fantastic job. So let me know what you think about this release down below. Let me know if you're running it. Let me know what kind of bugs you've run into. Let me know if you've got any questions. If you want to see that content filtering video with the with the subscription let me know and if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe comment and share follow me on twitter and tiktok those links are down below along with affiliate links patreon link and if you need it consulting if you need someone to go over your network if you need to build a new network if you need voip security storage all those things Head on over to willyhow.com, fill out the contact form that's on the front page, and someone will reach out to you as soon as possible. Come on over to our community at community.willyhow.com and talk about this, talk about other vendors, all the things. And we've got a great community, a lot of smart people over there, and we'd love to have you. So once again, I'm Willie. Let me know what you think about this release down below. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.